Hey gang, Scott here. Quick video about the histogram and how it can suggest the types of adjustments you might need to make to your photo, especially when you're first starting the processing. This is uh, something I talk about in depth in my new course, Mastering Light and Shadow in Lightroom. Spend quite a bit of time with the histogram and understanding how it relates to the different sliders and controls you have in Lightroom. Because different sliders will push different areas, uh, different tonal regions around, and you can see how that uh, interacts on your histogram. Uh, I've got a photo here that will show you what I'm talking about. And this happens to be a black and white infrared photo, but I chose uh, you know, mostly black and white. You see a little bit of tiny bits of color in there just by virtue of the infrared conversion. But this gives you a good idea of what's going on in the histogram. Now here, this isn't like a full on haystack where everything's in the midtones, but it's pretty obvious. We've got a whole lot of midtones going on. And so we do our normal things here. We'd say, oh, here, I hit my auto button and we see things shift around. And now certainly the photos brightened up and the histogram is shifted, but uh, it's still kind of telling me, you know, little hints. I don't have uh, the highlights as bright as I want. And yeah, I'd like maybe a little more distribution there, a little more deepness in the shadows. Cause I, uh, I while I, there's never a, a correct histogram shape, knowing that this is mid-tone heavy, I probably want more contrast. I'm going to grab that contrast slider. I'm going to push it really far and notice how the, the histogram is expanding in both directions, to the left and to the right. We're increasing uh, the, the depth of shadows as well as the brightness of highlights. Not quite getting that uh, far right edge of the histogram over. That's going to be my whites area. I'll push that over a little bit farther just to eke out a little more on uh, the upper end of that histogram exposure, try to shift that over a little bit more. And now I'm getting into an arena where this is, I want to do more with the photo, of course, but I've done my fundamentals to get that tonal shift, right? And leveraging the histogram, just the shape of it, is it biased to the left, to the right? Is going to suggest to me, what do I need to do? Yeah, I'm going to hit that auto button, but I'm probably going to need to do more. You know, in particular, contrast, you know, auto gave me pretty decent out of the out of the gate but it's still kind of flat and here i want that contrast even just that one adjustment major difference i got a histogram that's heavy in the center i'm pushing that contrast slider to the right and getting more separation of light and shadow that one adjustment alone is making the photo more powerful i uh, hope you found uh, this little video useful interested in learning more check out the video course and until next time my name is scott davenport have fun